Hi, I'm Salis and this is accessible to anyone. Today I'll tell you how you can easily and quickly set up your Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet on your own using talkback or voice assistant feature. But before we start, a few words of caution and some explanations. We'll start with quick phone setup, going through setup wizard using talkback and after that only then we'll insert the SIM card. The reason is very simple. Samsung Galaxy phones detect origin country of the SIM card and automatically sets the system language according to this country. So if you are from United States and inserting United States or United Kingdom SIM card, then it's okay to still be in English. If you will insert um, SIM card from Germany, then system language will be German. If from Spain, then system language most likely will be Spanish. Uh, well, the next problem could be that you do not speak Spanish to hablo mal en español or nicht verstehen in Deutsch. Uh, well, uh, sure, if you see the screen, you can easily change the language. But with um, TalkBack, yeah, you can just uh, change. You need to find the, the menu and then change. Be aware that Samsung Galaxy phones come with just few languages pre-installed for TalkBack. So if your system language is set to one for which TalkBack doesn't have voice file, then only thing you will hear will be bells and whistles. And therefore, I recommend inserting SIM card only after setup is finished and setting system language only after you have installed necessary language files. Now we can start setting up our phone. To turn it on, of course, let's press power button. It vibrates when it's turned on and then it vibrates when it's ready for you. When it's ready, then you should Press and hold upper volume buttons up and down at the same time for 3 seconds. Let's see, will it work? Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to TalkBack page 1 of 5. TalkBack is a screen reader intended for situations or people who have difficulty seeing the screen. It gives you spoken feedback so that you can use your device without looking at the screen. You can turn TalkBack on or off by holding both volume keys for several seconds. When TalkBack is on, the focused item on the screen is spoken out loud. Swiping right will move to the next item and swiping left will move to the previous item. Swipe right now to find the next button. Well, now we will swipe right. Next button. Double tap to activate. Well, this button will continue the tutorial, which we don't need at the moment. Then, uh, um, because that, I will swipe right again. Close button. Double tap to activate. Okay, now I will make a double tap anywhere on the screen. Close tutorial. You can come back to it at any time in TalkBack settings. Swipe right. Stay in tutorial button. No, thank you. So double tap to activate. No, thank you. So I'm swiping right again. Close button. Double tap to activate. Double tapping on the screen. Samsung setup wizard. Start button. Yeah, so they are. Activate. We are focused on start setup button, but let's check what's else on the screen. So I'm swiping right. Emergency call button. Yeah. Double tap to activate. 
Thank you, we don't need emergency calls right now, so I'm swiping right again. Accessibility button. Yeah, Double so uh, this activate. is a menu with the uh, accessibility options. Um, but, well, we don't need anything from there, so I'll be swiping back left. Emergency start button. So I'm again Double focused on activate. start button, so I'm pressing anywhere on screen. Insert a SIM card to connect to a mobile network. English United Kingdom. Okay. Samsung Setup Wizard. Double tap to activate. Yes, we have English set as uh, default language by default. So I will use two Frank fingers. Frankie Canada, 24 of... Day, two. day ago, 28 of 9. Our Turks. 53 of so 90. I'm swiping from Double tap to activate. lower part to upper part on the screen with two fingers to get to the bottom of this list. 62, 80 of 90. So I'm on the 90 of 90. bottom Double part. Double tap to activate. So Next button out of list. Right swipe and I double got to the next. To so activate. Double tap. For your review, check out the privacy policy to see how we manage your data. So Links available. Use tap with three fingers to view. Yeah, we won't be reading them. We will just uh, find the button for continuing setup with the uh, right swipe i agree to end user this include details i agree to the send details i agree to all double Optional. tap ticked okay i'll agree to all and then i swipe right again agree button double tap to activate and double tap as she said device setup Set up using another device heading. Yes, thank you for the offer, but we will not do that at the moment. iPhone registered sign, skip button. So I'm double, double pressing on activate. skip. Wi Fi, choose a what? So we don't need Wi Fi. Add network, scan QR code, turn off Wi Fi, out of list. I'm turning it off. I'm turning. It off so phone can't connect to internet or my Wi-Fi anyway so I'm swiping right again to the skip button double tap double tap to activate skip Wi-Fi setup Wi-Fi is required to set up an as a mobile plan so you can connect to a mobile network connect to the internet install software updates Use device protection features. Mm, thank you for information. Swipe right. Back to Wi-Fi setup button. Swipe right. Double skip button. Double tap. GMT plus two o'clock. Riga. Date yes. and time. Phone has Adjust detected. needed. Phone has detected my time zone very correctly. So I'm swiping right. Drop down menu. G drop down menu. Drop down next button. Double tap. Google services. Google s collapsed a lap. So two fingers from bottom screen to the top. So the list is moving up. So we can find the next button. Collapsed install up by tapping ex accept the button out of list. Yes, and Double tapping tap accept. To protect your phone. No, Pro we won't be setting uh, protection at this moment. Pat pat button, skip button out of list. Skip protecting your phone. You won't be able to prevent others from using this phone if it's lost or stolen. You can set this uh, feature later after installation in settings. Go back, but skip anyway button. So I'm skipping Double it anyway. To active recommended apps. Please wait. Heading. Samsung account. Find your lost phone even if it's offline heading. 
Yeah, thank you for offer, but we won't be logging right now in any account. Sign in with QR code. Skip button. Pressing. Double tap to activate. Skip out on all this. Samsung Cloud. Yes, thank you for Samsung. Samsung said. Smart suggestion. Agree. Button out of list. Yes, I agree Double to tap everything. Two. Settings. Choose your display preference. Heading. And for the sake of this tutorial, mm, I will choose the dark mode. Right now, phone is set to light mode, but this is your preference. Apps notific. Selected radio button light. Not selected radio button dark. Double tap, Double to, tap to activate. Right. Settings. Choose your display preference. Apps, notifications and other content will appear light or dark depending on which one you choose. Not selected radio button light. Selected radio button dark. Next button. Double tap to activate. Samsung setup wizard. You're all set up. Finish button. Double. Device unlocked. Home. Google Play Protect is turned on. This feature protects your device from harmful apps. Finish setting up your Galaxy S23 Ultra. Just a few more steps. Weather. Double tap and drag to move in pager. Got an ESM mobile plan. Tap here to add your ESM to your phone. Wi-Fi is required. Double tap and hold too long press. So yes, um, quick setup is finished. Now we can turn off our smartphone, Samsung Galaxy smartphone, by pressing power button and lower volume button to turn it off. Side key settings. Power off button row one in grid three rows one column. So if you Double want... Tap to activate. If you want just to uh, use power button to turn it off then you can set it in settings but I won't do that right now so I will just double tap to turn my phone off. Power off button out of grid. So double tap to activate. I need to confirm my choice to turn it off. Tap again, power off, but... So, phone has been turned off. And now, we can change or insert SIM card. Together with your Samsung Galaxy phone came small pin included in the box. So, you will need this pin to open the SIM tray. So, uh, for my Samsung Galaxy phone, SIM tray is on bottom next to the USB-C port for charging on the right side. So I'm checking with my finger where is the SIM tray because I can feel that one. And with the pin or needle as you wish, I'm trying to, um, to fit in the hole next to SIM tray because, um, well, when you put it in the tray, it comes out. Yeah, slightly, but it comes out, at least for me, yes. Uh, for some reason, it's... <laughs> bit stuck for me this time but I can get it out I'm leaving the pin back in my box so I'm taking I have sim card tray in my hand I'm taking sim card uh, from the box and inserting it in one of the slots so the chipset should be on upper side. In other words, you can't insert it in there. Um, yeah, it 
fits one way and when it's inserted in the SIM tray you can put it back in your phone done and that concludes my today's quick setup for blind next steps surely include turning your phone back on and starting receiving and making phone calls I hope you like this short tutorial and I hope you will like it with thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and hope you to meet you soon.